Hey, thank you for stopping by, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. I appreciate the fact that you spend a few minutes of your day with me here and now with Gem Farm Fix Max That Rush episode number 85. Now, of course, we have fallen severely behind because of the whole Clash Aversary thing. We had all of those challenges that essentially set all of my videos behind by nearly two weeks. So we've got some catching up to do. We caught up in no cash. We caught up in gold pass. I hope you did. And now we've got Gem Farm Fix Max That Rush, the $7,000 account, which, if you recall, last episode, I vowed to not attack with Sneaky Goblins again on this account. We have given them up completely and moving on to something more, well, let's just say more interesting. All right, we'll get onto that in just a moment. Of course, if you want to keep up with the series on the channel and the newest and latest updates, I always say the earliest and most accurate update information comes right here, so make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, and it helps out if you guys leave a like on the video. If, you know, if you've got the energy left after subscribing and turning on notifications to still then also hit the like button, I know it's a lot to ask, uh, it helps out the channel a great deal. And if you're super energetic, leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm. Okay, there it is. You saw it. We trained a dozen P.E.K.K.A.s. And, uh, you know, it's not the first time we've done mass P.E.K.K.A.s in the history of the channel. But this will be the first time that I use them long term. That's right. We're going to try this for the near future. We're just going to use every single P.E.K.K.A. Every single time, every single attack, I don't care if it's war, CWL, farming, we are going to go in and prove that, well, I don't know what we're proving here exactly. I guess it's the old saying, if Galadon can three the strats OP, obviously we get some people that argue offense is too strong. This is a good argument for said fact, but we have to remember, you got to take a step back and realize that the game should be relatively easy for casuals. Meaning if you're an average player, you should be able to win most every attack and maybe grab some three stars. And then in the upper echelon of CWL, Clan War, and the World Championships, maxed out bases with good base designs should be much more difficult to three star, right? I mean, and I think that's kind of where we are right now. But, and this is a big but, I promise you guys something, okay? You have my word. I am going to go out and find myself a fully maxed out Town Hall 14, and I'm going to three star it using 12 P.E.K.K.A.s, okay? If I cannot do it, I will end this series. You heard me right. This is the last episode of Gem Farm Picks Max That Rush, unless we can successfully triple a maxed out base using this strategy. And no, I'm not talking about a progress base. I want a real base in Clan War in CWL fully maxed out walls and everything else. And I want my dozen P.E.K.K.A.s to get the job done. Because essentially, after watching today's episode, you should have the same confidence I do. I mean, look at this. We are crushing it. We are absolutely annihilating everything in our path. Okay, fine. Fine, it was a dead base. But you, there were some attacks back there, a couple that I showed you, and you'll see the log. And there's another attack after this that's going to go fast forward as well that proves that if you have just the slightest bit of spell timing and placement that just full on spray and pray P.E.K.K.A.s and maybe that should be the name of the attack. S-P-A-P-P, -P -P, SPAP? No, that's that's even more cringy than my other acronyms. But yeah, it's essentially spray and pray P.E.K.K.A.s. There's a minor amount of strategy to this. Again, it of course does come down to spell timing and placement or did we rename it spell placement and timing? speaking of acronyms but you could see the strategy remains essentially the same there's a long line or a v-shaped pekka deployment right in the middle goes the heroes and the log launcher no jump spells no wall breakers and that's why i have a fear that yes against a maxed out base with maxed out walls it might be much much harder but we're going to give it a try we're going to see what happens now this is the log i'm going to go ahead and show you guys since we switched to this strategy i have literally not had anything but a three star okay so it was time it was time to take this strategy out to clan war and try it against a, a less than maxed out town hall 14 but nonetheless 
probably a good first test in war of the multi P.E.K.K.A. strategy that I still don't have a good name for. Deca P.E.K.K.A. was such a handy dandy convenient name when you could only fit 10 P.E.K.K.A.s in an army. Now technically you could have 13 if you bring a siege barracks. Well actually you could have 14 right? You could have a siege barracks with another P.E.K.K.A. in it. So we could have 14 P.E.K.K.A.s and yeah that's that's not happening. There's no handy easy name for that. You can't even say Baker's Dozen at that point but okay. Anyway, back to the attack, you'll see that this one, it kind of runs out of steam. At this point, we're thinking, okay, fine, maybe we got overconfident, we got a little bit cocky with the P.E.K.K.A.s, although, I will say, we're still working, and the P.E.K.K.A.s, although slow, do manage to just about one-shot just about every building, and it came down to the good old Archer Queen and the Unicorn, Felt like the last day of the anniversary challenges here. The queen getting stalled out worked out well because she healed back up. And now we know that this is going to become an issue of time, right? She's going to have to get through a couple more walls. And of course, were these maxed out walls, we would have no chance whatsoever. This would not be anywhere near a three-star attack. But I'll take the lower level walls. The archer queen, she's got some smarts. She can avoid some of the walls, make it around some of these gaps. And sure enough, here she comes in through the hole made by the yak earlier. And she's going to work her way back to the final building on the left-hand side of your screen, the Inferno Tower. Oh, no. Okay. So, right. Fine. 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 It's, it's fine. I'm not raging. That's not. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. We are going back to farming. And But, but the promise still stands. Okay. I'm still going to do it. We are going to find the Max Town Town Hall 14 and we're going to crush it. And if we can't, it's a great excuse for ending the series, which I don't know. What do you guys think? Is this like your third favorite series on the channel? Let me know down in the comments, would you? Gold Pass Clash, No Cash Clash seems to be the most popular. I'm thinking this isn't quite as exciting. And of course, I've also stopped spending ridiculous amounts of money on this account. And I'll admit that kind of is because getting a million views on a video is few and far between if like once a year at this point. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to be dumping tons of money into what isn't even a primary account on the channel. Okay, let's move on to the status report for Fix That Rush. Well, okay, now it's known as Gem Farm Fix Max That Rush, but Whoa. trophies are continuing to go up. Let's talk about that. Ever since we've gotten active with this account, the trophies are rising. I want to get back up to Titan eventually. Didn't spend any money today. We did spend a few gems. Probably gonna have to buy more gems soon. The wall grind, yeah. 239 is left, and blah, 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 oh. blah, 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 blah. But you're not the blah. You're the true hashtag Galifem. Thank you guys for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. Now it's your turn to get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and year. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. And I hope to see you all back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Galidon, destroy a maxed out base with your pickers. <laughs> R.I.P. the series. It's over, Galidon. <laughs>